just before we start trading, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're standing in front of this magnificent yoke made by our great friend Richard Looney, who very kindly um, dropped it off. Over. So, raise a glass. It's made purely from wood, apart from the crossbar, which is the metal, and these pins are metal. But he made it with an axe and a saw. There was no machinery, nothing used, and it's just a one of a kind yoke. Absolutely amazing. So, thank you very much, Richard. Much appreciated. And we will be doing some very heavy yokes very soon in it. Cheers, Lynn. <laughs> Subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet. Come on. We're transitioning on to um, Axel bar squatting. Like, basically, this, we're going to be getting to the setup that we did last year in training for Worlds. But first, we're going to be doing Viking Press. Uh, as Dan said, we're doing an event a day, so today's Viking Press. What is it we're hitting up? Uh, two twenties each side and a ten. For eights, I think, is it? For three sets of eight. Yeah, so three sets of eight. And then uh, squats will be a bit heavier this week and less reps, so stay tuned. Enjoy the glasses, enjoy the spiciness, and for once, enjoy the sun. Just to get a go through the the points that Dan made, keeping squeezing that big toe down the ground, um, kind of more concentrating on the the press, if that makes sense, rather than drive the legs. I want to kind of get my shoulders into it a little bit more. It feels heavy, but it feels good. Put it that way. Where we press on, it's not the most even of grounds. So if it is in the world's strongest man. At least it'll be nice and level, or if it's not level, at least we're prepared. And that's why we're wearing the glasses, because we'll have to wear them at Worlds as well, so it's getting used to having them on. Every session now we're trying to replicate that feeling for for World's Strongest Man and this, uh, this new block that we're on, this new training block for the next seven weeks or so, that kind of replicates everything that we're going to do at World. So Yeah, so we're just going to do it in our own time today, no down signals, no kind of timer stuff, just get a pump on and get the used to the weights, so half late, ready? <coughs> Bike and press down, so we just had three sets of eight with uh, two twenties and a ten each side. Um, felt a bit heavier today, but it's all good, we got it done. Just maybe put some weights on it to stop it from wobbling around. Alright for you? Yeah, that's good. Same again. Nice t -shirt. Uh, heavy, but we got it done. So. Nice t-shirt there, Tom. Thank you very much. Don't know if you've noticed, but we still have these on sale. Get by. On to the next event. Now we're on to Axel uh, squat to get used to it if it's going to be in world so nice and easy three sets of three I think it's 260 to 280 so yeah buddy the volume's dropped down big time now let's go
How are your squats going, mate? Yeah, you know I mean, I, uh, we were been doing a lot of safety bar work, and I tend to lean forward a lot on that, so it's just a bit harder to try and get back to transition back to the axle bar. But it'll take a, a week or so. But to still hit 260 for free freeze will be, you know, good enough for first week back. So yeah, I just have to force myself to stay upright more and you know not let myself tilt forward. Focus the point of the wall. Because if you're if you're squatting. And you're looking down. The hips will come up first. You've got a tendency. So a, bit a bit higher than you. So like, yeah, just above. So like, if you were to focus on something, like that chip out the wall. Yeah, like somewhere just above your eye line, somewhere yeah. there. Squatting it would put you forward anyway. Yeah. So it's not really a good habit to to get into the I think with a safety squat bar. Try and keep upright all the time when you're squatting. Because as soon as you start leaning forward, then that crosses over onto your kind of barbell and axle work, so just just technique. Tom was saying that um he's got a tendency when he's coming up his hips tend to come up first, which pushes him forward. And then he's, he's kind of constantly coming forward, which then in turn can throw you off balance. So you go more into your, onto your toes. So a couple of years ago, I was working with someone um, and they said just to focus a point on the wall. So say if you're in, in line with your eyesight, but just a, I don't know, 30 degrees up or so. So if you're focused on that point, keeping your head up when you're squatting, you know, looking at that point, is if you transfer your eyes down there, I've got a tendency to come forward and then my hips come up first rather than a, an all-in-one movement. It might even be a case of drawing something on the wall, but it's just having that kind of automatic mode just to keep that eye, eye line a little bit higher than, um, than normal. And then it just seems to help a lot with the, the, tr the upward motion of your squat. So. Um, if any of you guys are struggling, just try it. Again, if it doesn't work, then um, try something else until you find something that does work. sets to get warmed up um, as Tom kind of chatted about we haven't been doing um, conventional kind of back squats uh, with a barbell or an axle for a, a few months so um, it just kind of throws you off a little bit um, I find that I'm quite a narrow stance squatter so for me to get into my uh, that tight position with my arms and everything it just takes me a little, little bit longer for my tendons and stuff to get loose so um, once after the the first set, second and third set felt really comfortable with uh, the axle, uh, but because I'm a little bit older probably it just takes me a little bit longer to, to warm up. But yeah, quite happy with how they are, if it was 260 so probably next week you know, we'll go heavier and heavier, um, aiming to get back up to that 300, 320 for 10 to 15 reps, that's where we'll be, we'll be at in the next five weeks or so I would say, you know that's the, that's the goal. Looking at what the guys did last year, I know I'm a good squatter, I know I'm capable of beating any of these guys. Um, it's just putting in that training. Um, so if I get squats in my group, I'll be ready. If I get deadlifts with my new kind of stance, that's feeling really good. I know my deadlift's going to be a lot better come World Strongest Man. So, yeah. so that was our main compound lifts done. So we did Viking press. So what we're doing now in this new training phase is every session we're going to be doing an event. So that's basically how we're kind of um, attacking training so our event today was Viking Press 
and then the, the bulk of the work is kind of legs, so just the axle squats, that's our two compound lifts. Now we're going on to our accessories, so we're doing lunges, walking lunges, we're going to use the axle bar, the Mirafit axle bar with 10 kilos on each side, um, and then hamstring curls, etc, etc. So stay tuned for the nasty pump. Very sad. It's been coming for a while. Might get a bit emotional, but we've seen the end of Anita. That's my under shorts, so my quads got too big for my shorts. It's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because these little fellas, they've been with me for a while now, as you all know. So I'm gonna buy myself a new pair and I'm not gonna tell you where I get them from. <laughs> Another session done. It was a hard one, intense, he was good. Kept the rest periods to a minimum, quite out of breath, quite sweaty, good session. Viking press, axle squats, and then our accessories. Nailed all that. So it was decent. Uh, a good workout to prepare ourselves for events tomorrow. Um, we're gonna head off, it's Simon's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Simon. Happy birthday. You guys continue in the comments. To you. So we are going to go do some cold water, hot and cold. I want to go for a dip in the sea tonight. It's a nice night. And that's it. What more could a man possibly want? Training, eating, and going for a week cold So water. guys, hopefully by the time this video is over, Rangers will beat the shot out in the cap. And uh, you have a good weekend. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And keep ringing that little bell. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Uh -huh.